Example number two of graphing piecewise function. And here, what we have is 3, 4x is less than or equal to negative 2. And then the next one is negative 2x plus 8, 4x is greater than 3. Now, if you remember what um, in my first example, I, I emphasized there that we need to have two points here to graph each uh, 3 and then the negative 2x plus 8. So we will be doing the same thing. And if you remember, we will always start with a given number. So for the first one, we have x equals negative 2 because we have the negative 2 here. So you will always start with that, the first number that is given. Now we need to have two x's. The next will be the next integer on the left side of negative 3. Okay, it should be on the left side because what we have here is less than or equal to negative 2. So locate negative 2 is right here. The left side, the next integer on the left side of that is negative 3, so x equals negative 3. Now, if we look at the expression on the left side, I know you're expecting an x, but we have a 3 here. So, which means that our points are just negative 2, negative 2, rather, uh, negative 2 and 3. That's our point A. There's no x. So that's the resulting uh, variable. Or sorry, that's the resulting number. That's the y. B is negative 3 and then 3. So let's find those two points. Negative 2 and 3 is right here. And negative 3 and 3, which is point B, is uh, right here. And... To check, but by the way, the second point is always shaded. Now the first point, is it an open circle or a closed circle? Look at the given. It's less than or equal to. So that should be a closed circle. And then to draw the line, it should be going on the left side because what we have here is a less than symbol. Right, there you go. This is the first one. Next, we have x, or sorry, negative 2x plus 8, for x is greater than or equal to 3. And we will start with the given number. So that is number 3. Let's start with that. We need, put, we need two points, right? The next point is on the right side of that 3. So why, why is it on the right side of 3? Because of the symbol greater than or equal to. So greater than 3, the next integer will be positive 4. So these are the two x's that we will use to find the, uh, the two, point, two, two points that we need. Using the expression negative 2x plus 8, um, we need to find the, the value of y. So negative 2 times 3 plus 8. Negative 6, negative 2 times 3 is negative 6 plus 8, which is equal to positive 2, right? So here, our point C will be um, 3, which is this one, and then 2, okay? So 3 and 2, 3 and positive 2. Now, that should be shaded because what we have here is uh, greater than or equal to symbol All right next negative 2 times 4 plus 8 that's negative 8 plus 8 which is equal to 0 so point d will be 4 and 0 second point is always shaded or closed circle and then we will connect the two points and the arrow should be on the left side. So from the left going to the right side because of the greater than symbol. Left going to the right side. 